Hi everyone, get ready for an exciting lecture on discrete time sinusoidal signals. We are about to dive into the fascinating world of these signals and explore their properties. Okay, so what exactly is a discrete time sinusoidal signal? Well, it can be expressed as x of n is equal to a sin omega naught n plus theta where n is between minus infinity to plus infinity or you can express it like x of n is equal to a cos of omega naught plus theta where the range of n will be greater than minus infinity to plus infinity right where a is what the amplitude a represents the amplitude omega naught is the frequency in radians per sample also known as what angular frequency theta is what is phase in radians and n is an integer hope this much is clear to you fine now let's talk about frequency and phase shift okay so frequency measured in cycles per sample basically denoted by this f node can be calculated using the formula f node is equal to omega naught by 2 pi so this is what a frequency in cycles per sample on the other hand phase shift refers to the displacement of the sine and cosine functions from their usual positions in our case theta this theta defines the phase shift in the discrete time sinusoidal signal okay so what is phase shift phase shift refers to the displacement of the sine and cosine functions from their usual positions to better understand this let's take a look at two examples okay so this is the first example so basically if you see this graph you know this is a graph for what x of n is equal to a cos omega node n okay where there is no phase shift okay so if there is no phase shift this means theta is equal to what zero so if you see this graph it is a normal looks like a cosine graph right and it is starting from the usual position itself so this is what a graph of x of n is equal to a into cos of omega node n and here there is no phase shift so value of this theta is equal to what zero i hope this is clear to you so this is what a cosine function graph cosine function fine so i think this much is clear to you fine now let's move to the next okay now next so the second example this is the second example is for what x of n is equal to a into sine omega node n here also the phase shift means that theta is equal to what zero so this is a graph for an expression x of n is equal to a into sine omega node n this is what a sinusoidal graph okay a sinusoidal discrete time signal graph so if you see it is basically a sine wave right looks like a sine wave itself fine and there is no phase shift that is why the theta is equal to zero so now hope you understood the meaning of the phase shift so phase shift refers to the displacement of the sine and the cosine function from their usual position so this is what a sine function and there is no displacement from the usual position that is why theta is equal to zero here i hope these things are clear to you now let's move on to the period of a discrete time sinusoidal sequence okay so basically the period can be calculated using the formula 
n is equal to 2 pi by omega naught in 2 watt m where n m m are what integers clear so if you want to calculate the period for a discrete time sandal sequence then you can use this formula n is equal to 2 pi by omega naught and this whole into m okay where n m n are integers fine it's crucial to note that while all continuous time sinusoidal signals are periodic but discrete time sinusoidal signals may or may not be periodic depending on the value of omega naught so you should consider this point also fine in fact a discrete time sinusoidal signal is only considered periodic if its frequency f naught okay f naught is a rational number meaning it can be expressed as a ratio of two integers similarly it is periodic if the angular frequency omega naught is a rational multiple of 2 pi fine this is the another condition so discrete time sinusoidal signal is periodic if omega naught is a rational multiple of 2 pi we already know that n is equal to what 2 pi by omega naught into m so you can calculate the omega naught value right so omega naught is equal to what 2 pi into m by n and we know that this m is what an integer and n is what an another integer right so this is what a ratio of two integer means it is a rational number and it is multiplied by 2 pi so that is why we are saying like it is periodic if the angular frequency omega naught is a rational multiple of 2 pi okay so hope these things are clear to you so that's the scoop on discrete time sinusoidal signals in our next lecture we will be exploring the exciting world of discrete time complex exponential signals don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel for more amazing content if you have any questions or concerns feel free to reach or ask in the comment section thanks for watching